Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use effects presets in Reaper. I have a project set up here with a bunch of tracks, and I want to put some effects on them. And the easiest way to do that is to go to the track we want the effect on, hit the effects button, and that opens up the effects browser. And we could choose our effects from the list, from our columns over here, or we'll just type into the filter the name of the effect you want. So if I want a compressor, I'll type in comp, and we can see all the compressors or the plugins with comp in their name. If I choose Rea Comp, double click it, that compressor is now on this track. And we can see by default, no preset is chosen. So we're starting off with a default or no preset. But we could choose a different preset that comes with Reaper right over here. Let's say we choose Modern Vocal, and that opens up that preset. We could still change it for our personal needs and resave it with a different name. Go right here, choose Save Preset, and give it a name. Save it. Now that preset is saved in the list. If we open up that plugin again on this track or another, we could choose that preset we saved right here. And if we want to change it and resave it with the same name, just go here, Save Preset and save it again. And now it's resaved with the same name. We could also rename the preset right over here. And now it's saved with this name, but it's still gonna show up when we reuse this plugin right down here. Now it shows up on the bottom of the list, but we can move it up as many spaces as we want, now it shows up over here, or move it down like this. Let's move it back to the bottom, and now it's back on the bottom of the list. So we could reorder our presets that way. We could also delete the preset if we don't need it anymore. Delete preset, and now it's gone from the list. And as I mentioned earlier, when we first opened the plugin, it starts off with no preset, which I personally like to change. There's certain defaults I like to use and have it open up that way. So let's put it back to the factory default. And let's change it to my personal taste. I like to set this about four to one, make the attack and release a bit quicker with the threshold about here and turn on auto makeup gain. This is how I want this plugin to open each time. And we could do that by going here, save preset as default, and just give it a name. I'll name it start. And now, when I reopen this plugin on this track or any track, it starts out with that preset, which is still saved in the list, but it's gonna open up with this preset active by default. Then we could adjust it to taste, but it'll always start off this way. And if you want to undo this and go back to opening up with the default, we can go back to the effects browser. And right over here, we see the default preset. If you don't see this column right here, just right click, go down here to show effects in list. Make sure you turn on default effects presets. That'll give you the column right here, where we could choose the default preset for each plugin. So for this one, it's set to that start. We could put it back to the factory default. And now if we add it, it opens up with no preset. But we could choose a different preset right from here. Let's choose that modern vocal. And now when we open the plugin, it starts off with that preset every time. Although we could still change it from here or adjust the parameters. Now, if you create a whole bunch of presets you want to save, you could save that list or export it right here. Export the preset library, 
put it somewhere on your hard drive. And then later, if you need them, just import them right here. Find that file. It replaces the existing ones with the same name. And we get back that same list. Now, one of my favorite things to do with my plugins is to go over here and choose Show Embedded User Interface in the Track Control Panel. If we choose this, it embeds the plugin right here. For the compressor, we just see the threshold, which we can adjust from here, which also adjusts it right here, even with this closed. We could always adjust our threshold from here. Let's do the same thing with an EQ. Double click it, go over here, and embed it in the user interface in the track control panel. Now that shows up over here. And we can adjust our EQ right from the track control panel, even with this window closed. But by default, they're not going to show up. So if we start over again, let's add the compressor and the EQ. By default, they don't show up in here. We have to add them manually each time. Unless you change the setting. Go back to the effects browser, choose the plugin you want, and right click it, and go down here to default settings for new instances, and choose show embedded user interface in track control panel. And we can do that for any plugins we want, at least the ones that work with this feature. Choose the EQ, right click it, go down here to default settings for new instances, and turn on show embedded user interface in track control panel. And with those chosen, let's delete these. Every time we open up those plugins, it automatically shows up in here. By default. And again, if you don't want that, go back to the effects browser and just turn it off right here. For each plugin, you no longer want it to open that way by default. And now, if we open this up, it doesn't put that feature in the track control panel for the compressor or the EQ. So that's pretty much it. That's effects, presets, in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go. Oh!